Hey guys, alright, um, so some of you wanted a we just dishing video, so, <coughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, um, the biggest we just dishing is the counting of numbers. It doesn't mean a thing. You can let your board do anything it wants. Corners to corners. It can go through the entire alphabet. It can go through all of the numbers. Figure eights. Not bad. Um, I don't know why so many people think that just because it goes from zero to one um, that there's a demon. Um, I've never heard that in any video or movie. Um, well, actually, which board? It does the figure eight. So if you guys want to incorporate that with all of the other bad rap uh, that Hollywood has given the board, there you go. Um, honestly, I don't know where um, the counting of numbers came from. Um, maybe it's a thing to do with, like, reverse, everything is in reverse, um, I'm not 100% sure, honestly, um, I've seen some very weird, weird comments, um, and they're, they're just superstitions, it's, it's nothing to be afraid of, um, and if people think that things come out of the board, they don't, um, this is wood. So the only thing that's going to come out of it is dust particles. Um, what we talk to is not in this. There's nothing in this. At all. Nothing. It's a piece of wood. So. And there's nothing else in that either. Piece of wood again. Well, love and hard work went into this because this was homemade. Um, custom made by Jesse P. And I still love this board, but yeah, um, I don't know where, where, how do you get these strange ideas. Um, no, if, if your board counts down from nine or zero to one, it doesn't mean anything. If it goes to all four corners of the board, it doesn't mean anything. If it goes in figure eights, figure eight is a symbol for eternity. Um, I've heard people say if it counts through the alphabet backwards that you're releasing a demon. No, you're not. It takes a lot more than that. It takes a lot more than this. Um, what else? I've heard some pretty weird stuff. Um, yeah, the main, the main thing is though, I, I don't know where it comes from counting from backwards. I mean, it doesn't do anything. If you go backwards wherever, it does not do a thing. Um, looking through this, nothing. It serves no purpose. It's for the board, and that's it. See, I don't know where those come from. Um, I know that's one of the biggest we just additions out there is counting from 9 to 1 or 0 to 1. Um, no, it doesn't release evil. You can't really release anything with a board. It's just a tool. So it's you. If you're having problems and you're getting like weird things happening to you after using a board, it's because of your intentions. Um, it is all about intent. Um, it has nothing to do with the board. Nothing is inside the board. Nothing besides wood and dust particles and masonite. And that's, that's it. Um, I've heard another we just addition never leave the planchette on the board because it will release spirits. I heard that one a long time ago. I think I heard that one when I was 
probably in school. Um, but it, it's, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> there, there's nothing, nothing that's gonna happen. Um, nothing's gonna come out of the board. I promise you that. Um, obviously, every single board I have, my planchette is on. So, what else? I know there's more, tons more. Um, using it by yourself, um, that's totally different, so, totally different. Um, what else? I've, I've seen some weird, weird stuff, and I've heard some weird stuff, but I don't know um, what to tell you about we Justitians. Um, yeah, as long as you're going into it with your intent is to talk to loved ones, um, talk to your guides, talk to your angels, um, ancestors and relatives, and, you know, if you go in focusing on d uh, demons and uh, you have a bad image of the board, um, then it's going to bring out your fears. Um, it's like a magnifying glass, so it's gonna and make everything just that much more um, intense or um, mess with you psychologically. So really everything that you're hearing uh, about uh, counting backwards, figure eights, no. Nope. Um, that all comes from the movies. Um, I've played in graveyards. Um, nothing has happened, except for the one experience where we blacked out. Um, don't know to this day what that was. Um, but I have used this thing for 21 years this month, so I can guarantee you. And there are a lot of other people out there that have so much more experience on me. And, you know, like, um, you know, Karen A. Dahlman, she wasn't, you know, raised to have such a, you know, negative image about this, so she has positive and amazing sessions, I'm sure, um, obviously with three books out and I think one to come, I hope, that's exciting, um, so yeah, I just, I really don't know where all this comes from, uh, movies, Hollywood, um, if, if you, I, I don't, it's like Bloody Mary, superstition, um, it's like, uh, not wanting to walk under a ladder, or black cats, um, so it, it's just, it's, it's touchy, I think it's touchy, um, but yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't have to, uh, yeah, it's good to have a partner to use the board, um, but you don't have to. It's not a must. Um, you're not going to get possessed. Um, I personally don't believe in possession, so that's probably why. Um, if I did, and being a Virgo and a hypochondriac, I would probably have been possessed like a thousand times already. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> um, what else? <clears throat> uh, breaking a Ouija board? Why would you do that? Why would you want to hurt such a pretty board? Um, yeah, you, you can um, get rid of them. <clears throat> you don't have to use them. Leave them like on church steps, I've heard. Um, you don't have to cut them into seven pieces and bury it or burn it. But, um, it's, again, just a piece of wood. So tool, just like uh, EVPs, um, which personally I think are more dangerous, because everybody on the ghost shows any spirit, and then it just keeps coming back through. Be specific. You can be very specific with this board, um, and I don't think the ghost foxes and EVPs, I don't think you have... Um, don't know where I'm going with this. 
I don't think you have as much control as you do with this because you are in control when you are using the board, not anything else. Um, so I think if most everybody that has these wage additions were either one, that's how you grew up, that was what you were, you know, that's how you were raised, that's how they taught you about the board. Um, that or too many movies and you take them too seriously. So yeah, those are the biggest ones out there and you can't do that on the board. I feel bad. But yeah, that's an amazing board too. So yeah, again, I'll go through the numbers with you guys. Nothing is gonna happen. Nothing. 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 So, that is the biggest we just addition, the numbers. Don't know why. Um, somebody would like to inform me. I would love to know where that um, we just addition came from because I have no idea myself. Um, again, I think it's just fear. A lot of people fear it. Um, so, you're going to get what you ask for. Um, people focus on, you know, they want the negative. They want to be scared. So you're going to get scared if you want to use the Ouija board. Um, go ahead and ask for demons and see what you get. But again, it is just as their superstitions. If your board counts down, nothing doesn't mean a thing. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I have never asked. So maybe I could ask. Um, alphabet, no. Um, the figure eight, um, eternity symbol. Um, God, I think that's it. The four corners. I've never heard of that one. If it goes to the four corners, that you have released a demon. a lot more than that to release an actual demon um but yeah and i have my planchette sitting on it right now and nothing nothing is happening so yeah um, other other oh um one thing that is not a ouija station is don't drink and then ouija <laughs> As long as your mind is clear of any kind of substances that are going to make you hallucinate or trip out or like freak out, um, you're good to go. You don't have anything to be scared about. Um, research, 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 research. And that's really all. And, and as far as saying goodbye, um, that's common courtesy. Um, human to human um i'm sure animals say goodbye in some way that we don't know how um we don't just hang up the phone on people i do sometimes um so that's just common courtesy um sometimes the spirits will just slide off the board um that's the signal to me that my session's been done it's over with um you can feel through the planchette when their energy just kind of stops other than that, I've never, I, I don't know any more, like, really good we just additions. Uh, yeah, all the ghost shows, um, The Exorcist, but, and it really didn't even contribute to her possession, so I don't see yeah, that just doesn't make sense. None at all. Her being possessed by using the Ouija and then Captain Howdy being in her. No, that's that it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, if you yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Someone explain that to me.
So, I thought I missed anything. Um, I don't, I don't know the, the, that's, that's the only, like, Ouija editions that I've ever come across. Um, when it slides off the board, it just do sessions over. Uh, figure eights or the eternity, or, yeah, eternity symbol. So it's nothing really bad. I don't see that as bad. Um, it could be a spirit signature, the way they come in. Um, my grandma comes in as uh, like kind of a swoosh. She comes in from the moon. Um, as far as I have heard, the sun um, is for good spirits, the moon is for bad, no. Um, sun, moon, masculine, feminine, duality. So, um, there is a lot of symbolism on the board, especially with the sun and the moon. Um, other than that, I just, I, I would not watch or take to heart what you watching movies like Ouija, the rules that they have, it's a movie. Good movie, but it's only a movie. Oh, what else? What else is there? Um, if you don't say goodbye, I've heard that you're gonna die. Um, there's been numerous times that I have not had time to say goodbye. I've had to up and I've had a family emergency. So, still alive. Yeah. Um, I don't know any, I don't know any others. So, um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So if you guys um, have any more questions on Ouija stitions, you can email me or just comment below and let me know what you think or if you've heard any new ones, uh, let me know what you think. Um, this is probably the most boring video I've ever done in my life. So. I think I've covered everything on Ouija Stitions. Yeah, just think of it like Friday the 13th. It's just superstition, guys. Just superstition. So, um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to cover on those. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> and everybody have a great day. And if you have any, yeah, any more we just editions, comment below and let me know what you've heard. Because that's all I've ever heard. So, alright guys, um, I love you all very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And yeah, have a great day guys.